Hello everyone, welcome to today's vlog. I, why did that feel so awkward saying? Anyway, if you couldn't tell, I am home. I moved home everything from my dorm and I just have so much to update you guys on. But basically, uh, these next couple vlogs for the next month or so, it's just gonna be me chilling at home, living in pajamas, looking like a little boy until I have to leave the house, which I probably won't do often, but that's okay because you know what? We need this time to relax, to restore, because I don't know about you, but this past semester, couple months, this whole year, 2018 as a whole, has just been um rough, rough with a capital R. And I just, I need to recover from it. So let me set you down here. So basically, if you can't tell around me, my room is a mess because I just moved everything out of my dorm and I just literally threw it all in my room and I haven't touched it yet. So I first wanna update you saying that I will no longer be living in a dorm. Yeah! Basically, I never really wanted to live in one for this year to begin with and it was just too much of a process to try to find like off-campus housing and an apartment and stuff like that and I didn't know anyone to live with so I'm just like you know what I'm just gonna do a dorm again and we're just going to choose the easy option but I really just don't enjoy living in a dorm anymore I want to live in an apartment and I want to have my own room and I just want my own personal space because there's nothing wrong with having a roommate I just I'm a very introverted person and I just feel very stressed coming home all the time with people always there. I need my own room to shut the door and relax and just have my own space basically. So I'm moving out of the dorm so you no longer see me at Morgan Hall in the dorm that I've been in for the past semester and last year as well. I will be in a new place with my own room, so we'll be getting uh, lots of videos, lots of fun things done, and I'm super excited. So that is one of the things that has been stressing me out so much recently. This has been probably the biggest stressor, one of the biggest stressors in my life in the past couple months because I've been having so many issues trying to find a place not only for this upcoming semester but for next school year as well because again I don't want to live in a dorm I need to find somewhere but I think I finally have it figured out and I'm feeling so much less stressed now that it's all kind of resolving itself so that is the first thing so not only did I just have to pack up things for winter break I just had to pack up absolutely everything and move out so that is a really new exciting thing i'm doing and i'm so excited to have you guys see the journey of me moving into a new apartment and it is still sharing with people i still have three other people i'm living with but we all have our own bedrooms and it's more of a sophisticated place it's an actual apartment it's not a dorm it's not like i still feel like i'm in school all the time so it's really nice and i'm really excited so yeah. The other things that have just been going on in my life has just been a lot of stress, a lot of mental health issues. You guys already know this. And I've had vlogs that I have started or I've filmed days, but I just, I don't like them. So that's why I haven't been uploading vlogs because by the end of the day, sometimes I wake up and I feel fine. And by the end of the day, it's just not a good day anymore. So I don't really want to upload that vlog, even if it did start out good. So I'm sorry for that, but I think you guys can understand that. So my next priority besides for the whole housing living situation has been my mental health. So I've been trying to focus on that a lot and to start that and to, you know, get this winter break. I'm taking this winter break basically as like a vacation to get my life together to get just some sanity established so not only did I move everything out and taking a step forward in my life to move into a different place I also need to clean up my room here and make myself have a nice environment for this break so that I can hopefully work on myself and do things so the first thing after this long speech that I'm giving you is that I basically just need to clean my room <laughs> and I'm gonna show you the process of me doing that because there's a lot of shit everywhere and um yeah so i guess we'll get started <laughs> so if you can't tell my room is just a mess everything is just cluttered thrown everywhere and i just need to oh god get it organized so i'm gonna like really deep clean this and make it look pristine so let's get this going
couldn't tell, I have a face mask on and I just got out of the shower. And if you really couldn't tell, I'm slightly offended. Anyway, it is quite later. It's dark outside. Is it 5 o'clock or is it 9 p.m.? You'll never know. My room is looking significantly better. It looks nice and clean. It still could be a bit, just a tad better, but you know, I'm good with this for now. Anyway, right now I look like Squidward when he got out of the shower and SpongeBob and Patrick thought he was a ghost. Can I? Yeah. Put a picture in for reference. I look like that right now. So basically I've just been slowly and lazily cleaning my room all day, just going in and out of putting things away and then laying in my bed and then like watching YouTube videos and just like we're taking a chill day, you know, we're treating ourselves. I have my face mask on, but yeah, it's quite later now. And basically all I'm doing is just lying in my bed. <laughs> I'm going to be reading a book. I'm reading this book called You Can Heal Your Life. Isn't that just such a self-help book title? But I've already read this twice or three times, but I've recently been going back to all of my self-help books and reading them again and then like writing as I'm reading them. So kind of just like taking notes on them because I am motivated to get my life in control because it's not currently and I feel like I have way too many crises in my life crises 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 I don't know in my life to just only be 19 years old so we're trying to get it together and like I mentioned before this whole break this whole winter break we basically had a month off from school I'm taking it to focus on myself and to just I don't even know what. I don't even know what it's going to entail, but it's going to be just all about this. Whatever this is. So yes, that's where I'll be uh, at for the rest of the night, and I'll obviously vlog tomorrow and show you what I'm doing. I think I'm going out with my mom tomorrow, and we might go shopping because I definitely need more things to buy. But yeah, uh, starting it off good, nice and chill, no pressure, no expectations, just reading a book, doing a face mask, there's a candle over there burning, I'm just... Okay, yep, that's all I have to say. So I will see you tomorrow. Wow. Hello everyone, it's the next day. I don't even know if you can hear me over this music, but we're currently um, out and about shopping with mother. I'll show her. But um, we're getting some food right now because that's what we do. We like to shop and eat food together. So we're at... California Pizza Kitchen. It's our fave. It's so good. And I'm gonna get a nice salad. We're gonna get some uh, guac as an appetizer. And we're gonna Shut spend money up. and have fun because that's what we do. <laughs> so, yeah, actually, I'm not really buying anything for myself. I'm trying to find a bunch of Christmas presents for everyone. So, that will be fun to figure out what the heck I'm getting all my friends. so good too. What's your dressing? The Dijon. So I just woke up from a nap. Guys, I suck at vlogging when I'm not at school because when I'm at home I literally do nothing. Like even though I did go out today, do you want to see clips of me shopping at the mall with my mom? Like is that interesting? I don't know. I'm gonna have to make like a bucket list of things to do this winter break so that I actually have interesting content. <laughs> But, um, yeah, right now, I think I'm, actually, I might film a skincare routine because I don't know the next time I'm going to wear a full face of makeup and this is a good opportunity to film it. Just, like, a nice updated one. But, um, I have no idea what I'm doing with my life currently. That's okay-ish, I think, I hope. Basically what I want to do is just be more open and real with you guys. So I'm coming out of a, <laughs> if I'm being honest and blunt, I'm coming out of a depressive stage right now. So I'm kind of like happier than normal um, and a little bit more personal than normal. But I really just want to show more of my life and I suck at vlogging. So like that's hard already, but I just want to be like natural and show you what I do as college girl that struggles with normal life things and it's not living in LA and has perfect everything and bleh, you know so like I don't know 
So like I didn't have an ending to this vlog because it kind of was just going to end there but I felt like that was weird so um, I don't still know what I'm going to say but basically I don't know what I'm doing with my life currently and I have a whole month to myself to relax and self care but then when I'm by myself I just overthink and then when I don't have a schedule or routine such as school then I just get like stir crazy so I don't <laughs> we're going to figure this out together and you know what maybe I'll make like a bucket list like I mentioned before to do things Things because your girl can't go crazy anymore okay that's the end of my vlog now bye <laughs>